<laughs> what we do now is uh, we print out pictures and then we cut out the lips and then he puts them over his face while we have coitus. And then that way it looks like I'm looking at who I want to have sex with. Right, Jared? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, well, I guess you're not into that idea. Who's our guest this week, Jared? Hello. Been gone for five weeks. Do you want to talk about it or? Yeah, we didn't notice. Was it five? Hey, weeks? what's up, guys? Welcome to episode 54 of Dropouts. Guess who's back this week? Jared. What's Woo! up, buddy? What's up, guys? How many episodes is that? Wait, what? 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 Hey. Who are you? What's up, B words? Welcome back to Dropouts. It's Indiana. Jared, hit me with some of that sweet, sweet tippy tappy. How long have I been gone? Like Four five weeks. episodes? Not long enough. Four episodes. <laughs> hey, Indy, welcome back to the show. We really missed you. What else did we write down? Um, it's uh, so good to have you back. Hey, B Words, I'm back! Uh, Applause, uh, I need it. There we go, sorry. Thank you so much. It feels good to be back, guys. Like, how was Chicago? Um, yeah. yeah, Chicago was good. Had a good time. What'd you do to there? No, March, honestly, nah, I filmed a movie. <laughs> Okay, did. tell me all the parts of it. Like, what happened in every single Let scene? Let me just tell you the absolute plot line. Okay, go ahead. So, basically, no. Um, if you I guys want to know some it. more information, you can check out the Deadline articles that were just released. That was very exciting. But I was in Chicago for a little bit under a month or a month. Um, did you kiss any boys while you were in Chicago? Many. So many. No, but just one. She was running that L train through Chicago. <laughs> wow. We just got our clickbait in the kiss of a in Chicago. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. Um, and she's still not denying it. Wow, it's very true. No, I didn't. I did. It was. Okay. Well, no, we, 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 won't, we won't. It's fine. Hey, we, we already got the clickbait. Uh, we, we don't need to dive yeah. into we're it. We're not diving into it. You know, was it? Did you, it was a lot of tongue? I don't know. No. Um, no. None. Oh, okay. Oh. How, how many kisses? <laughs> Couple. Whoa. Couple. More than one? What's I got to. Whore. <laughs> does it, so, does it sound serious? You think it's going to be serious? I'm not sure. You'll have to wait until see the end of the movie. Oh, this is in the movie. Mm. Okay. And well, I absolutely wait. just... Kind of spoilers. I think she just said that you have to wait to see the end of the movie. Shut up. Oh! oh. You pregnant. <laughs> wait. Was that, was that what Cut was this out real quick. All I know is Indy was in Chicago eating dip, deep dish pizza. Ugh. Okay, so you're on set for a movie. What do you mean? Ugh. Okay, let's talk about it. Zach was there when I tried deep dish pizza. I did not go to Chicago to visit you. I would never. Okay. Well, <laughs> he, he's with you. Um, we tried deep dish pizza from Luminati's, which is Fantastic. A, supposed to be like the best place. It is. I could not fucking hate it more. I couldn't hate it more. It's disgusting. What the hell it's gross. are you talking about? And Zach agrees. Zach does not agree. Um, I want all the deep dish sponsors. Thank That's you. Well, BS, I, you agree that you hated it. Nope, not me. You did. You, you went, this is not good. It's gross. And then it started raining and you didn't even want to save the pizza. You left the pizza sit out in the rain because you were like, fuck that pizza. No, I thought it was poetic. Eating pizza in the rain seemed like a great thing that we could do together to experience more memories together, but I guess not. Okay, anyway. See, okay, here's the thing. That First was the night of, all, of a tornado. Both of you are wrong. Absolutely not. It's All disgusting. Right, no, deep dish pizza is like <laughs> one of God's gifts to the it's world. It's actually Jared, you uh, look like two star deep dish pizza. Excuse me. You look like the personification of that. Go ahead. Mm, I agree. That's um, rude. And second of all, I don't trust Zach's judgment on pizza. Zach justice because Zach has good judgment on all food, and you know that. No, this fool. This fool only likes pepperoni pizza with ricotta on it. No, okay, mozzarella as well. Sorry. Mozzarella. Okay, but that's a pretty classic pizza. That's a classic, that's a classic pizza. pizza, but I don't trust him with anything different. But that's what we had. It was pepperoni. It was pepperoni pizza. But you don't like you well, like. It was thin all the crust. things that I like. No, I don't. I like. I like normally like thick crust. What? I, I don't like the pizza. I've heard the complete opposite Deep from dish you. Effing sucks. It's too thick. There's so much cheese. I'm not going so that much. hard into it. Like, I'm going that hard. I hate it. It was definitely consumable. It's not something I would. Like again, I like a good American slice. Like I would I, never, I would never go back and be like, "Let me have deep dish." You guys, I also didn't like. I Portillo's. prefer New York. What? I also didn't like Portillo's. I oh, actually, Portillo's is so I, good. Or did I not almost throw up on the table? Dude, she has. Okay, let me set the scene. We go to Portillo's. I had a great time. Portillo's. They got two spicy chicken sandwiches. Loved every second of it. Because everyone oh, you and didn't the get fries the Italian were, beef. Well, we did get the Italian beef, and then Indy, like the bread, got a little bit soggy because. Well, yeah, because it's wet. Because well. it's wet, and then she's like, "So this is her at the table." I'm like, she's like, here. I was like, here, try the Italian beef. She's like, okay. Oh, the bread socket. <laughs> and then she's I like throwing up on our table. And I'm like. Was it actually throwing up on our table? You were but gagging to a point I where was. it's like, I'm not going to try the Italian sandwich anymore. Because, okay, this is Wait, the thing. Wait, so you didn't try it? I was eating it. Like I was eating. I, I picked up whatever she threw up. 
Ew. <sighs> okay, if I was a bonding oh, moment. Gross. I was eating it and then I started thinking about what I was eating and then I was like chewing it and then I was like, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. And I just started gagging because like, I don't know, the soggy bread and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was gross. The spicy chicken sandwich was good. So were the fries. And then I also you tried- have a hot dog there? No. What I, the hell? I also, I don't know what to get. You didn't like the Italian beef and then you didn't try one of the hot dogs. Those are like the two staples of Portillo's. And then I- Tried Sonic for the first time. That's also eh, gross. I'll give you that. Sonic I liked the ocean water, the drink, and that was their better. drinks are good. Cause mm-hmm. like I remember, like Brooke Riley and I, we drove all the way like out of our way to Sonic just to get milkshakes because their milkshakes slap. But mm-hmm. their food's like mediocre. It's it. not good. While you're gone, um, Andy, Jared hung out with all of them and never invited me. That is not true. I feel I like literally you would have te- invited him every time. I literally have texts where I go, "Hey." I'm hanging out with so and so. Okay, let's talk about the time you went to um, Cold Stone Creamery, my favorite place to attend. You went to Cold Stone. That was because I invited you earlier that day, and then you said no. No, I didn't. I said I'm at a tennis match right now, and then I call you back on the way back from a tennis match, and you say, "Hey Zach, uh, we're coming back from Cold Stone because I." That's effed up. You know how much in the world that was. You know how much he loves that, and you did. That's like going to freaking. That's like going to the two mom emporium and not <laughs> not inviting you. Wow. Okay. I you know what I understand. Listen, that was a bad judgment. He call loves Cold Stone, and you part. didn't get him Cold Stone because he was at a tennis match. I didn't know how long he was gonna be there. Hey, you I know his tennis matches never go over two and a half, three hours. What the hell? Cold okay, Stone. Okay, listen, like, Zach. I apologize. No, for I not got you, Zach. You don't stone. care. We'll go get Cold Stone later today. But I invited you. I would. I, I actually am feeling like you're gonna take me to ice cream. I feel like ice cream. You're not getting ice cream until you eat more today. I had food. You, you had, had a, a mango, mango in water. That is food. Okay. Dude, technically, that's food, but that's not a meal, okay? Oh. You need to start eating meals. Speaking of water, I have given up all sugary drinks. No juices, no sodas. So you're going to go get uh, your no ice cream alcohol. later? Yeah. And I've been re- I've been really good. Really good is not eating one mango and then a glass <laughs> of water for six days and being like, I'm healthy. No. What I've been doing. You need protein. I had a lot last night. You do need protein. Okay. Um, but I have been very good. No energy drinks. No coffee. No nothing. Just water. You're really saving lives out here, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I already feel better, guys. I just uh, my caffeine headaches are not fun. Well, I'm glad that you're consuming water. That's cool. Next uh, next stop is uh, food. You know, like I actual consuming food. Like had a salad. Mm-hmm. Not today. What kind of topics are we talking, guys? We're just talking about what you're eating during the day. I, I want to talk about hard hitting evidence. I want to talk about the news. I want to talk about the stories. I want to talk about you were in Chicago. I was there, and we almost died together in a tornado. Oh my god, that was terrifying. Yeah, because I didn't want to die with you. All right, let me explain <laughs> Chicago. I was in Chicago for a total of twenty seven nights, twenty eight days. Um, good time, very good time. Uh, met some met some really cool people. The deadline articles were released, so I can finally talk to you guys about it a little bit more. Um, it's called The Crusades. Our director is Leo Milano. Leo. Leo Milano. Um, it was a good time. I had a great time. Met some cool people. Filmed a movie. You said you could give us more details. Yeah, and, and you, you said, I had a good time. I met cool people, <laughs> well, and then I filmed the movie. Well, ask me questions. No, you Just talk, talk you about, about the movie. movie. I, never, I need questions. I need prompts. But what are some like interesting things that happened? Like, I literally um, brought up the tornado you story. You said, nah, shut that down. I met cool people, and I had a good time. <laughs> and, then, and then you sat there and said, um, you guys don't give me prompts. Um, <laughs> oh, we went to this place called Oshaval, which is supposed to be like one of the best burgers in the country. That's great. There was a tornado <laughs> that almost killed us. Why are we just like oh, skipping over there this? There was a tornado that was... I was fine about Why it. Why are you not going into detail about the tornado <laughs> she was that almost killed you? <laughs> she was losing her absolute she mind. She called me with you two in the hotel room, and you're like, we're going to die. And I could hear tornado sirens. <laughs> I saw lightning in the background. I couldn't hear. I could barely hear her over the rain that was hitting the window. And, and she's, she's like, like, I met cool people and, and had a, a burger. And had a burger. It had yeah. bacon on it. And on Friday, it was maple bacon. It was so good. That's great, dude. That's great. <laughs> Talk about I being in a hurricane, <laughs> not a <laughs> or a tornado for the tornado first time. Tornado was a little bit scary. <laughs> I never dealt with something like that. Never been in extreme weather conditions. The like most extreme thing I've ever dealt with is like you know a little bit of an earthquake in LA. And so um, I was a little bit scary. It was there was a really funny moment where I went to like close the blinds because I was like if I can see it I'm still gonna panic so I went to go close the blinds and as I did that like lightning struck right in front of the window and I just went ah! like if <laughs> all my all my castmates were on the same floor and they could just hear me screaming it's <laughs> hilarious she thought she was gonna say like she's like I'm gonna save us I was like 
Like doing close what? The She's like, I'm going to close the blind. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I'm, say I'm gonna set. How do I what? I'm like, yeah. When a car hurl, car hurls through that window, we're just gonna be good. We're gonna be good <laughs> because the blinds are closed. Blinds are closed. It was just so funny. Old. As a Midwesterner, right? Like, you know, we had tornado drills all the time, and they teach us it's like get to the lowest floor that you can, stay well, away from windows. On the highest floor. You know, and th- she calls me, and her face is like pressed up against the glass. <laughs> like, oh my god, Jared, look at this. It's a tornado. <laughs> like, we're all we're gonna die. I was like, get away from the fucking windows. Get in the bathroom or something. Thing. <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah. everyone could, was down in the basement of the hotel. Yeah, because they're all from Chicago. Yeah, there was definitely a ba- like everyone was downstairs and sirens were going and stuff. And I was like, oh, this is kind of serious. I couldn't have been less bothered. I think I was like almost falling asleep. And she's like, we're going to die. I'm like, yeah, well, you know what I mean? Yeah. Part of life. <laughs> um, but we used to have those drills too when we were a, a, a wee child because I lived in Georgia. It was yeah. more hurricanes for us, but sometimes a tornado say. would touch well, down. Well, the tornado came from the cusp of a hurricane that was happening somewhere on the coast. Was it on the coast or was it, I know sometimes like uh, those things can form on like the Great Lakes. So was it coming? Maybe from the, gr- from Lake really Michigan? Either. Probably. Mm. We were on Lake Michigan on a yacht. Oh yeah. She's just living the tough life there. She's like, Zach, it's my off day. I'll I be honest. I want to spend time in bed, but I'm going to be on a yacht today. <laughs> drinking mimosas with the girls. And I, was like, I will eh. be honest though. It got very lonely. Like I was very, I was like I, I enjoyed being in Chicago. It's a place I'd never been. Again, met so many amazing people that. But they just didn't want to be friends with you. Shut up! I went out with one of them last night. Um, because you paid them. Go ahead. Shut up. <laughs> um. So yeah, I had a great, great time with all that. But I was definitely like in my hotel room alone. And you guys, I mean, I'm sure you guys do know this, but the longest we have been apart, like since we all met. The longest I've been, I know I've been apart from you guys is ten days. And that was because I I know last Christmas I went home from the 19th through the 29th. No, Jared and I were just we we would sit here and be like we have so much time on our hands. Like, yeah, I had no idea what to do with all every, that. Every time. Everything was just quiet and it was like a little tranquil. Like I felt like the feng shui was a little back. <laughs> <laughs> and then you and then the personification of a tornado came back. Dude, you should no, know is so true. I. I touch or so I came back from so when Indy came back I was in Colorado but when I came back from Colorado I hadn't been at the apartment for more than 20 minutes and all of a sudden I get her like calling and texting me she's like you need to go pick up Zach right now and you went you know? and we're back and I was just like I was on the phone with Hannah because I was like I just landed you know I was just like oh I'm happy to be back and then it's like pick up Zach right now I was like wow and it started you know? <laughs> yep. Um, I was at a tennis match and I felt a little lightheaded, very hot that day. I run a little hot and I thought I was going to pass out. Not really pass out, you but you're going to pass out and was, that you're going like, to throw up. I was like, I just wasn't feeling well. I said, here's my location, guys. I think I'll be fine. I'm going to sit down, cool off, and then I'm going to proceed to drive. But I just want you guys to have a location. That just freaked me out. I would just. And, and, and I appreciate the freak out. You know what I mean? Um, and you were getting your hair done, so you couldn't have gotten me, which is okay. You know, my life. Got my extensions out. My Thank life's God. a little less important. That's all right. What? I couldn't just leave. You're right. My life's in danger, and you couldn't just leave. No, that's, that's why, why she I got me. Zach. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so we're sorry. pretty much the same person. You know, we kiss on weekends. Um, yes, sir. No, but as I was saying, I have not spent more than a week, two weeks. Away from us? Yeah. Yeah, we pray about it every day that it'd be longer, but... Um, <laughs> so you guys must have had a ball that month. Uh, oh, we did, didn't we have a good time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. We had a terrible time. Yeah, we cried every night thinking of you, holding each other. Sometimes we'd go to your house and pick up garments of your clothes and smell them just to remind. That's all right. What? I literally, I sat there and like, I was so alone with my thoughts because we were two hours ahead or whatever, but like I, I was doing night shoots. So when I was still up shooting and filming and then going to bed, you guys were dead asleep. And so I was like, just like sitting alone with my thoughts and like with everything that had happened last year i never really had the time to sit there alone and process it by myself so i was just kind of sitting there alone processing everything and i was like i gotta go home this is not good this is not good for me so yeah it was it was definitely interesting but you're definitely a person that has to have people around you in order to like properly yeah. function yeah I, d- I think so jared i think you're that person a little bit too kind of um not as much so whereas me you could be in solitary confinement and live a happy life. That's how I used to be when I was little, too. My really? Would, yeah. 
my mom, I would just be doing something and I'd fall asleep like next to my castle. I've told this story before. And then my mom's like, what are you doing in here alone? I was like, I'm just using my imagination, mom. Having a pretty good day. <laughs> <laughs> I was like a young kid. I was always that kid and I'm still that person where it's like, you're right. Like I, I need and like want to be around people all the time, which but is like why people don't like you. I'm well, I'm just afraid to ask people to do things and like hang out and stuff. Like I was the same oh, way as the a kid. S- the saddest story that Jared ever told me, he had a, he had a little group of friends um, when he was in um, Ohio. He felt like he felt like they were close, but he could tell he's like a little bit of the odd man out just trying to fit in. And um, when he got to L.A., he texted all of them. He's like, hey, guys, finally made it to L.A. And they said, what, Jared? Uh, they said, shut up. No one cares. So. And that was the last day that I talked to them. It really was? Yeah. They were being for real? Yeah. God, oh, it wasn't like a shut up. No one cares. It was no, like it was. I could tell like because I was. Yeah, I like they had all known each other f- from like preschool or like kindergarten. And then I came in around like late third grade. So like I mean, still like. Wait, what? That's you know, a very long time to know people for them to just say shut up. No one. Cares. Yeah, but like I had known it was all kind of like just like circumstance. Like I moved to like a new part of Cincinnati and then my parents threw me in boy scouts or cub scouts at the time and then shut up I needed to make friends in this part so um (laughs) so then I I met all of them through that and then I went to um then we all like went to school together and yeah like I told Zach I was like I always kind of felt like the odd man out like I never actually like belonged you know um and then yeah I moved to LA because they're all like you know, biochemical engineers and history professors and doctor, you know, whatever Sexy lawyers engineer. and stuff. Um, and you know, I went to college to make movies and music, and so I was just like, Jared, "That's so sad." Yeah, I I'm still. So I mean, sorry. I still talk to one of them. One of them's been super supportive, and like, you know, I'm he. Really sorry that that happened. Eh, you that know, makes me a little bit. Sad. Yeah, you'll find friends one day. Like, no worries on that. Yeah. Yeah. One day. No, I. I wait. What? What? What's up? Roommate is what I am. So sick. Guys, what? I really thought we had something special here. Oh, I didn't put lip liner on. Oh, Who good call. cares? Jared, this is actually pretty serious. Lip liner is the top thing for girls to wear. Now, now that she's gone, dude. Hey, guys, welcome back to Dropouts. This is the Jared and Zach segment while Indy's in my room. Hey, guys. Um, I'm so sorry she's back. Guys. Oh, she's back. She's back. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Dude, I, and it's, it's like I really miss her is the big thing. I just really miss Are her. Are you going to use my camera to do this? Nope. Oh. Okay. I'm going to leave this part in just for shits and giggles. Just for what's and giggles, Jared? It's not a cusser podcast. <laughs> We're werewolves, not swear wolves. <laughs> <laughs> that one really got her. You haven't been on the podcast for a month and you've got nothing to talk about? I don't want to talk about You don't? Then talk about it. Okay, so um, I was on set with Indy um, while I was there, and, you know, I watched her do her little scene. She was doing, being a great little actress, and um, she is in the front seat of a car, because she has to drive a car in the scene. She has to drive it two feet. <laughs> no, no, wait, wait. no, you asshole. Shit. Um, wait, no. did you say she has to drive with two feet? No, I, wait, she had well, to drive like two was, feet. My character oh, Jess. had to drive um, two feet. My it, character Jess whips an Escalade in this movie. Yeah, so she had to drive a car, big, big old car. Big ol' Escalade. Um, and then at the end of the scene, she had to get out of the car, um, and I just hear screaming by the entire <laughs> crew. Oh, um, I thought you were going to say she, like, ate shit getting out of the oh, car. Oh, we'll, we'll get to we'll that. Get there. Oh, okay. Um, but <laughs> I just hear shrill screams of people in fear of their lives, and um, we now realize that Indy doesn't know how to put a giant vehicle in park and almost runs over the entire crew. <laughs> Shut okay, the fuck listen to this. Up. Okay. Someone had to jump in front of the car and, like, stop it. No, it was rolling backwards, so... Oh, so sorry. <laughs> so I had to jump behind the car. <laughs> so this is what was happening. The way that they were shooting was uh, Sean and Jess, which are the two characters, me and Khalil, were in the car, and they were shooting from behind. So the whole crew and camera and everything was in the in the boot of the uh, of the car. The trunk. For are you paying attention to the American listeners? I am paying attention. Good. They were in the trunk of the car. Dude, can you imagine? She does that to us every I single... I was going to say, wait, I, as soon as she was like, are you paying attention... <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Are you dumb? What? Are you dumb? I'm b- I am oh, paying attention. Oh wait. No, tell no, the story. No, no, wait. T- fucking. <laughs> All right, we'll you know what? I'm gonna come out with that same energy. So they were in the trunk, right? And this is like a 17 year old Escalade, so it's not like a new one. It's like a very old Escalade. And Almost so legal. 
Never mind. Jared, are you trying to hit on the escalator? <laughs> <laughs> trying to get that exhaust got pipe? Wagon. Give me that exhaust pipe, baby. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, over to you. <laughs> <laughs> what? So, the way that, like, it it was, you had to put this thing in drive or reverse. What are you doing with your hand there? I was trying. <laughs> I was trying to You're yeah. trying to what? I was trying to show you You're trying to put it in drive Did it have truck nuts on it? What are you I'm doing? going ride I'm going it wasn't ride like one of these. It wasn't like a one of these the ones It like was on the wheel That you yeah. have to like Whatever And so I, I, Cocking a gun over there well, you, <laughs> <laughs> well there was no like Okay you're in reverse You're in drive You're in neutral You're in whatever There was no None of that You had to just like guess And so I didn't know I thought I'd put the car in park there was no, there was no symbol. There's, There's no def- prindle. Well, the symbols, the symbols didn't work. The symbols on it didn't work. They were electric on the thing, but they didn't work anymore. And so when you're in drive, I was like, I think I'm in drive. I think I'm in reverse. I think I'm in park. Like, uh. And so then I thought I had put it in park and got out the car and the car just starts reversing and everyone's behind the car. Like camera, like sound, everyone, oh, crew shit. is all behind the car and it just starts rolling back and they go, yo, 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 yo. And I go, what? <laughs> like, and I quickly put it in park. And I'm like, I don't want to drive the car anymore. But like a majority of my scenes are in this car. Like I drive it often in this movie. How would you have felt if um, you murdered the production team? I would have felt pretty bad. Because that was like, <laughs> that was like mid shoot. We were still like mid shoot. Well, I feel like just even get if it was out. the end of the shoot or the beginning of the shoot, killing people is probably not ideal. She just gets out. It's like the sound guys just like crunched on there. And she goes, I feel pretty bad about that one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I assume to save money, they're going to have a funeral for everyone at the same time. Um, so go ahead and give like your speech. like to, The like, eulogy. The, to fam- the, eulogy. the family and friends <coughs> of who you murdered. Go ahead. Hey, guys. Um, <laughs> what? Honestly, hey, guys. We'll go back to drop <laughs> no, Wait, that's something so, else. Sorry that like a YouTube yeah, so video. Sorry. Hey, guys. <laughs> really? So I've been doing a lot of things. <laughs> I am starting like an apology, a YouTube apology video. <laughs> um... Well, if Sean didn't have such an old Escalade, then no. maybe I wouldn't. <laughs> Just no? immediately yeah. passes the blame to anyone um, else. Okay, let me try this again. I was method acting, and because my character is such a... No, uh... My bad, G. You're going to start a riot at this, at this Let's funeral. Let's start a riot. Um, so that was really cool. And then second mishap of the movie, there's actually another two, actually. They do involve me. Um, so we have this really big motorhome. Why did you just switch in Australian mode? Like, I don't know. The, the entire thing, she was an Australian and then something like set her off and now she's full Australian. Was it talking about murder? I don't Go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> really kicks it into gear. Yeah. Um, I could have stopped doing that. Sorry, I'm a bit old. I don't know. I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Why are you nervous? I don't know. I've done this in a while. Um, okay. okay, wait. Can you, just from now, can you, which accent are you going with? So just I think I'm going to go with Australian. Okay, today. just so the listeners know. Okay, good. Okay. Um, okay. There's this big motorhome that the whole cast is staying in. Um, and where we were parked, they were like, we were parked on like uh, the sidewalk of, I'm sorry, is this not entertaining enough? <laughs> not yet, but keep going. <laughs> I'll let you know if something changes. It would park like on the side of the road and in the grass, there were like these big rocks, just all, I can't even describe it. Like just big rocks in the grass. And one of the rocks happened to be right outside of the stairs and it was like 4.30 in the morning. So it was still dark-ish, but they'd taken off all the cones on the rock. So you like, you can't really see it, but you can if you were um, anyone else, you could see him. But since you're yeah, in, you could see him. Yeah, since I'm me, gotcha. anyway. So I was going out of the trailer and absolutely ate shit on this rock. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> I just like, I absolutely. Man, crafty sounds terrible. I, I tumbled. Um, I absolutely tumbled on this rock and sprained my ankle. And it like got all bruised and it was not fun. But I literally was lying there. And I was so embarrassed because everyone was watching. Because that's where the shuttle pickup was, like. All the shuttles were right there to pick up to go back to the hotel or to the cruise house or whatever. So they were all just watching and saw me just take this dramatic fall. And then because it was so, t- I was so tired and it was so late and we had such a big day. I like a couple of shears, shears, a couple of tears shed. And I was like, nobody saw me cry. No one. They just like were making fun of me the entire shoot about falling. And I was like. Well, you almost murdered them. So I feel like it's. Yeah, it's only fair. It Easy. is only fair. Yeah. Um, and then the same day, actually, as we were doing like a running scene, 
absolutely rolled my ankle. The other one and ate shit. So that was. You gotta stop. Just Man, you gotta just. I've not got really do your bad own. ankles. I've got really, really bad ankles. Like I should be wearing a brace constantly, um, and I don't. Yeah, it's gotta get you a mental brace. Too. It is what it is. <laughs> I'm just like I'm looking at nothing. <laughs> I, was, I was looking at something. That's my joke. I just act like I didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, you pretty much got the whole concept. <laughs> okay, let's just talk about something random. Okay, you get pregnant right now for some reason. <laughs> and okay, what is your first... Okay, you you have the baby. What is your first thought? Like, how do you, do you tell your mom? Who do you tell I'm having the baby? You're going to have the baby. The dad? No. Okay. Oh, yeah. But like, assuming okay. they know, like, of your family, like, of your family members, and how would they respond to that? I tell my nan first. Okay. And then how would she respond, sweet old nan? Cheryl. Oh, indeed. <laughs> indeed. You've got a little jalapeno pop up there, do you? <laughs> or something like that. You've got some going inside. No, Type. she'd be like, Indiana. <laughs> Oh, that's no. that's a, that's a disappointed. Like yeah. I'm not mad. I'm disappointed. Kind yeah, of. No, she would. Um, I don't know. Yeah, probably tell her. Then I probably tell my mom because she knows how to deal with my mom because she's my mom's mom. Um, <laughs> I rhymed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching Dropouts. <laughs> she said, "That's my mom's mom." <laughs> ha! That rhyme. She said, "Mom" twice. <laughs> Queen of comedy over here. <laughs> That's just a running joke in Jared's family. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you'll tell your nan. Dude, you got to go sit down or lay down. Go take a nap. <laughs> then you'll tell your mom. Okay. Jared and I got it from no, here. No, I got it. I got it. I swear to God. Sorry, I'm getting back into the swing of things. <sighs> um, I would probably tell my nan, my okay. mom's mom. And then I would tell my mom. And then um, probably tell my grandpa after that. Okay. And then just absolutely excommunicate my dad. Oh, Oh, he would not be happy about <laughs> it. Um, okay. No, he would not be happy. Would you use the child for clout? Whoa. Are you kidding? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'd buy all the matching outfits for What us. What would your maternity pictures look like? Um, Like Beyonce's. I was just about to say Beyonce's. Yeah. If anyone can Photoshop Indy into maternity pictures, that'd be great. Thank you so much. Did you or see I Cardi think B's pregnant again? Oh Sorry. my God, yeah, she is. Um, She announced it at the BET Awards, uh, which was cool. Mm, what would I do? I would pull a Kylie Jenner on them, like go silent off the face of the earth, but like kind of not really and only post photos from shoulders up and then everyone's like, oh, what's happening? Oh my God, like what's going on? And then um, once I've had the baby, uh, drop a whole video, video vlog of it and be like- Of you like bring it to a fire station, leaving it there? Pretty much. <laughs> oh, jeez, that adds up. Like, Speaking of BET, good transition, Indy. We went to a Tory Lane's party. For, we did. Which was very strange for All us to us? be at. Um, hey, not strange for me. You want to talk about a story arc? I went from a member of the Black Culture Club in high school <laughs> to going to a BET after, or awards after party. If that's not a character arc, I don't know what is. <laughs> All right, Batman, calm All down. All right. Um, it was definitely odd. Uh, it was there like was two. There's a, a man and a woman on a dance floor um, drinking a lot. Holy shit. He was shit. absolute. He had his fingers up her. Yeah. I, dude, I was, like fist deep. I was it, standing it was so at the bar. But like, but like, it wasn't even like a subtle like, oh my God, no one can see and no one knows. It was like a full on just like. Roll clip. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it was just like, music was blasting. People were talking. It was loud. And you could almost hear the faint. He was blasting too. You could almost, <laughs> what? You could almost hear the faint, faint noise of it all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh! it, sounds, it sounds like if you step on a gusher anyway <laughs> oh. so that was really weird um and then we kind of just sat in the in the pretty backyard i saw tory lanes he's five foot three who would have thought tiny. he's tiny tory, oh tory lanes was also um my first concert him and asap ferg so add more to the story yeah, right dude, there you're still the widest person i've ever met i know <laughs> but I it's know. fine but it's hey, fine. don't make oh, fun of him. He's your friend. <laughs> I was at the bar. <laughs> Sorry. Jared, give me a second. That is your friend that is there for you more than anyone in the entire world, and you think you ha you have the nerve to mock him? Are you sure he's there for me more than I anyone? I feel like you might more be there for a little. Leave me out of this. I know I'm a saint, <laughs> okay, and I'm a giver, and I'm probably the best human to ever exist, but Jared's a close eighth. I was standing there by myself, minding my own business, and then um, a woman 
comes up to me and um, starts snake dancing on me with her behind. You were there. You saw it, right? I was. It was very abrupt, too. Like, he was. Just, we were all just standing. At this point, Tori was performing, and we were all just standing on the stairs. And then I stepped down, because I was standing in front of Zach, and then I stepped down, and then this girl just slides her way in and just starts going... Like literally, that was the dance, and I like I, I didn't like, know what to do. I was like, "What's happening?" I, I literally was like, "It was big, sexy time, wasn't it?" I literally was like, "Yeah, I guess so." <laughs> What's happening? You um, get her number? Uh, no, no. I Instagram, assume, no. Snapchat? Snapchat? Ooh, no. TikTok? Mm-mm. Facebook TikTok. Messenger? No. Kick? Kick. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so silly. I got her LinkedIn. She's a professional. <laughs> right. Okay. So. My bad. She's performing um, at your birthday party later. Yeah, but different kind of microphone. Um, what? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, my mom's calling. Should we see what she wants? Yeah. Hey, mom. Hey, what you doing? Uh, we're filming the podcast right now. Okay, I was going to tell you, I just kind of witnessed an accident. So when you're driving in LA, like, you know how people, like, kind of speed around because they think that, like, someone's not, someone's being an idiot. Just be careful because, um, you could, like, end up hitting somebody or something like that. Okay, I'll be careful with <laughs> car accidents. Thanks, Mom. No, I'm talking about when you... Tr- I had someone else do that. They actually hit some shit. A man and a woman pushing their car and they killed them. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Mom, you just have stories that really brighten my day. Just manslaughter. Hey, vehicular I'm manslaughter. I am telling you to please be careful. And I just saw something and it made me think of... I wanted you guys to be safe. So be quiet. Listen, listen to your mom. Okay, I I'll try my best not to get into car accidents. Thanks for the I'm advice. I'm talking about when you go around people because they, you think that they're that you think you know what's going on in front of them and you don't, and then all of a sudden someone slowed down or something happened. Gotcha. Thank you, mom. I love you. I uh, say you love your mom. Love you as well. There you go. Bye. Bye. Dude, Jeez. that's the calls that I get from my mom. Hey, just so you know, look out for car accidents. <laughs> they're not good. You can murder people. I remember this. these two people I saw get murdered. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> thanks, Mom. Hey, Phony McPhonerson. You I could not fit that mic in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's the thumbnail. If you guys use that as the thumbnail, I will literally take your balls and shove them down your throat. Like that? Too late. <laughs> <laughs> like that? <laughs> Don't act like we didn't already just see you do it. Yeah, don't act like that's not going to be. Don't act like my average. <laughs> God, you need to be put down. <laughs> what was your first time like? With a boy, physically. Zach, what was your first time like? Oh, apparently With a boy. About it. it was after my tennis match. <laughs> she gave me a blowjob. Actually, no, it wasn't. <laughs> Did you get your own story wrong? <laughs> I legit never, re- I do not remember. That's There's a, no such a fucking way. Lie. You know how I know that's a lie? Because you constantly tell people how you never forget a thing. So that's where I don't you're forget. fucking your own self up. Good joke. <laughs> but like, Zach, you don't forget a damn thing. You don't forget a word I've said. You have not forgotten that's a true. single thing I have said or done in the past year. And you expect me to believe that you don't remember your first time? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Jared, over to you. Zach! No! Okay, fine. Um, I came home from uh, a long a long day at school. Um, my friends and I decided to go out. And um, the girl um, stayed over afterwards um, oh. while before she went home to watch a movie after we all went out. And um, the door was locked. Um, we both got... Butt naked. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I guided a certain item. Ew, all right. What? No, we know what happens now. Well, I wanted to hear the story. Um, I guided. He put his penis in, a, in her vagina. <gasps> That's how that works? <laughs> That's not what happened. <laughs> nice. That's You're a lie. S- no, but, no, okay. <laughs> it's just, it was just wasn't very eventful. Um, all right, Jared, while she's gone, read the text I just sent you. Okay. What does it say? <laughs> I'm jealous of your heart. Okay. And then here's another text. Okay. Um, waiting for it to come. Because it's it's pounding in you and not me. <laughs> With a white heart. What? <laughs> Thank you. That's just how I feel about you. 
Is it? Yeah. Okay, dude, back to the Zach and Jared podcast where Andy's not hey a part guys. of it. Dude, we can talk about anything we want right now. What do you now. want to talk about? Um, What do you want to talk about, dude? I don't know. Should we talk about sports? Sports, dude. We never can talk about sports. We you want to talk about sports. Uh, LeBron jumps high. LeBron. Dude, that guy can jump so high. Dude. And he can dunk a basketball. Have you seen? Yeah. Have you seen him dribble? He can put it I, between his legs while he's walking. Dude, I want to be between a woman's legs someday. What did you say? What? I, mean, I thought you just said you were between a woman's legs. That was all a lie. I'm a virgin. Oh. Oh, hell. Oh, shit. Her set's falling Her set's apart. set's falling apart. Let's talk about more stuff the guy's name. Okay. Shaving. Shaving. Well, I don't know how to shave. Okay. I, okay, we're back. Shh. And Indy's back. <laughs> Where, where'd you go? She used the bathroom, but I didn't hear a flush. Did she uh, just leave it in my toilet? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> um, Are we not going to talk about that? You flushed? Yeah. Okay. So I had a funny thing. So I've been like... um telling zach and whatever like i've been planning um you know i'm a music guy i don't know who I, that is i do zach justice oh you sorry um <laughs> so, sorry. uh so like the way I, like i make my music and stuff is like i always like i'll hear a song that i like and it's like oh i wonder how i would have made that song so i just like strip the vocals and then i like build an instrumental around that song gotcha. right and so recently i was like let me remix um, olivia rodrigo's song driver's, driver's license. license oh you did that yeah, I did that. I got to play it for you. I really like it. But so I'm telling Zach, like I play it for him. And, um, you know, it has like I, I personally like it. it's one of my favorites that I've ever made. And he goes, have you seen uh, have you seen her new Hot Ones episode? I was Jer- like, oh, no, I've been meaning to watch that. Jared's signature thing in all of his songs is something called vocal chops. Yeah. Um, which you can explain what vocal chops are better than I can. Literally, you just like you just take the vocal and then you find certain like vowel phrases or you know, cool things within it, and then you can like rearrange it and manipulate it so that it, it's more melodic. Here, here's a snippet of the song with the vocal chops, <laughs> and we're and we're back. Those are what vocal chops are, and then we watch hot ones, and and so Zach is like, he's like, have you seen it yet? I said no, and I was like, he's like, you should probably watch it, right? It's it's a good one, and I was like, okay, like I I'd plan on watching it, but like I wasn't, it wasn't on the top of my list. So I'm cleaning my room and I, I throw it on the TV <laughs> and around halfway through Sean Evans asked her a question and he's like, he's like on all of the songs on your album, what's like one thing that you were like glad that you defended the most, you know? And she's like, oh, actually on my song Deja Vu, the ending, uh, like on the outro, there's supposed to be um, vocal chops and everybody loved it. You know, they're like, oh, these are so cool, super like edgy, you know? And she, she's like, I hate vocal chops in my music. I would rather die than have vocal chops on one of my songs. I literally would rather die than put vocal chops in my song. Well, at least you know, you'll never work with the biggest pop star out right now. Mm-hmm. I know. And so like, that's the thing. It's I like, I, I want to start, like I, I told Zach, I was like, I want to start this series called remixing songs that don't need to be remixed. And just like, you know, cause that I have like a thousand of those. And, um, and that was like going to be the first one to kick it off. And I was like, ah, uh, <laughs> hell, that is not a good sign. Well, Jared, um, failure has been a consistent theme in your life. So why are you just acting like you're surprised by it now? Has it been a consistent theme? Remember that whole friendship thing where no one was friends with you? Yeah, but I feel like I've overcome that. Oh, that's good to hear. I feel... Oh, wait, I forgot you guys are my friends. And nor will we ever be. Hear me out. You and Indy are married. You have a child together. Which one does the most of the work in the friendship? I mean, talk about other things that will never happen. So I saw a unicorn today. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so the baby's baby's screaming in the middle of the night. Who do you think is going to get up to go... Well, yeah, I, well, <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, neither one of us, because of a good parent, you have to let him cry. OK, something actually happens where you have to go in the middle of the night. Jared, how do you know if it's something actually happens or if they're it, just it does, it, it, this is a scenario that we made up, Jared. So oh. something's actually happening. You have to go get the baby. But well, OK, no, you have to convince Indy, but she's really tired. What do you say to her? Hey, Jared, I'm not getting up. Well, what if I can't? What if I don't wake up? Because I'm a heavy sleeper, so I'm not going to hear that baby. I'll wake you up. Fuck that baby. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> right, I'll this, wake you up. The worst parents you, ever. <laughs> you'll be up. Yeah, what and is, you'll be up to let me know that you're yeah, going to go take care of the right baby. Sleep. No, that you're going to go. Nope. Yeah, you you'll take that. care of the hey, baby Jared? and go right back hey, to sleep. We both know who's going to be getting up in the middle of the night, and we both know it won't be me. What a great mother. <laughs> <laughs> what a great. What if the baby just wanted some milk? Some milk. It'll be bottle fed. Jeez. 
That baby could, has no human <laughs> connection whatsoever. Dude, Jared's just in there like trying, just latch, please. It's just latch. Feel something. What would you guys name? Okay, you guys have to name a kid together. What would you name it? It's a boy. Um, and then whose last name is it taking? Bailey. Hell yeah. Um, what do you mean? What do you mean? They're shaking their head no for the audio. It'd listener. be a Masara, and you know that. My jeans are way too strong for it to be a Bailey. Oh, you don't know Bailey jeans. <laughs> that thing's gonna. You, oh, you guys would have the palest kid I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, that, we really that would. It would come out looking like Casper. Literally. Oh, that's the baby's name, Casper. All right, that works. It's literally the name I wanted for my baby, Casper the K Beckham Justice. I really? thought it was Casper Beckham. Casper really? Beckham Justice. I'm kind of over the Casper name now. I used to be really over it. Actually, if you go to my notes, um, in like. In the future, I set a date to remind me of that name when I was younger because I like the name so much. I was like, maybe I'll have a kid by then, and then I'll be like, oh, there's the name. You have a reminder? Yeah. For what year? Oh, now I remember. Funny enough, 2021. Was it what? really 2021? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know when I have a kid by 26. Well, I probably said it when I was like 18. So, oh, so you're like you eight years Did you recently get that reminder? No, I haven't gotten it yet. It's set for August, and I just found it, like literally. Jared, cut this like 20 minutes where it's interesting, all right? If you have to create storylines by individually putting <laughs> words here and there, I'm totally fine with it. I'm pregnant. That's the headline. Penis. No. <laughs> A child. No. no. Jared cried when he saw he my penis. I did. Because it looks sad, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't get hard for Jared? No. Nah, -uh, not anymore. It's been too long. We've been together for too Once long. Once you're with someone for too long, like it's... We need to be medicated in order for, yeah. You know what I mean? You just we, don't do it for me anymore, and that's fine. And you don't do it for me anymore. So what the? Mm. Why are we? Mm. What'd you say? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, so what we do now is. We no. <laughs> <laughs> um, what we, <laughs> you're so silly. Um, what, <laughs> what we do now is uh, we print out pictures, and then we cut out the lips, and then he puts them over his face while we have coitus, and then that way it looks like I'm looking at who I want to have sex with. Are right, you? Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, I guess you're not into that idea, dude. And I don't want to talk about sex on this podcast anymore. There's so many things that we need to clean up. We need to clean up our act. We need to have better topics. We need to have a better host and we need, which one of you guys I'm talking about? You have to fight it out. Jerry, you went to literally Colorado. Wait, what did you guys do while I was gone? Dude, we, d I don't remember any of the podcasts we did while you were gone. And we did four of them. Wait, no, Jared, you saw somebody jump out of a plane. What? Oh, well, so I went to Colorado. <laughs> there we go. Holy hell. With my, my cousins and my aunt and uncle. Um, my cousin Wesley is part of the Air Force Academy. Oh, here we out go. Out there. And so he just finished his first year. He's going into his second year. And um, right now, over the summer, he's doing uh, his jump courses, like to get his wings, um, like for parachuting and stuff. And it's like, it's actually kind of insane because these kids have like never gone skydiving before never you know done anything like granted like Wes knows how to fly a plane because his dad's a, a pilot and so he taught him but um so he texts us at like four in the morning he's like all right I'm jumping at seven so like get to the airfield around this time and we're like okay so we rush out we get there and we, he's like I'm in a green plane with white stripes I look up and literally, you just see a plane and like a little speck just jump out that's and terrifying. just fall. I, that's something I would never want to do. No, I know. And this is his first time ever doing it, and he's going solo. And like, I was he's going like, solo the first time he's ever jumped out of a plane. Yeah. Why? Got a nut up or shut up. Like, Indeed. they Wait, had, I thought you had to do like 27 jumps before you did that's that. That's for civilians, but he's part of the Air Force, you know? So, like, he, they, they don't have to do that. Um, so he, yeah, he just like, you literally just see, he's like, I have a red canopy. And I was like, okay, so we'll look out for that. And like, you just see like a little dot and it just falls for about 10 seconds. And then you like, you see the sh shoot pull, but you're just like, please, please open, please open, please open. Oh, that would be so devastating for the entire, that'd be, that'd ruin your afternoon. You saw yeah. your cousin die? Well, here, <laughs> yeah, thank you, Fun Zach. Is the afternoon? Huh? What? Is the afternoon? Over like a couple hours, I guess not the full yeah. afternoon. Yeah. You know, you'd get over by dinner. Um, well, it depends on where you go. Mm. Popeyes? Over in minutes. <laughs> that spicy chicken sandwich? Um, sure, that spicy chicken plug. sandwich at Popeyes is pretty good. It's you fun. guys have ever had it. So he pulls it. But, no, one of the one of the kids did have to pull his reserve chute. 
um, which is like super rare. But uh, because like all of a sudden we just see a parachute land without a kid in it. And we're like, "Uh, um, what happened? And then I think the reserve shoots are like a light blue color. And then we just see somebody float down with that. But um, so he's doing that. And then that's scary. um, But yeah, so I mean, that was crazy because he's I think he's going to be 20 this year. Um, But uh, that's young. Yeah, I know. And so he but the thing is, he loves it. He loves this shit. Like he the first year you're called um, like a dually, you know, that's that's like your freshman name. And you spend the entire year like (laughs) you have. It's like getting hazed. Like the Air Force is like a giant um, frat frat you know and it's like they can't walk in like normal spaces they have to like walk on the very edge they can't you know they have like all these rules you know he absolutely loved it um which one of us do you think we can fit our leg over our head the easiest i feel like let's all try right now you know it's me can you can you put your leg over your head all right should we do it one by should we do it one by one or all three at the same time okay oh hell jared just speak loudly if you need to say something this is about as good as you're going to get from me. Ow. Ow. Oh, God. For the audio listeners, this we're all struggling. For the audio listeners, this is not rough, rough. Ah. Oh. Dude, I'm going to pull something. If I keep going. Oh, my God. I'm looking at my Dude, camera. Dude, Andy, I'm scared you're going to get stuck. What the hell? I can't even get my foot over my head. When I was when I used to dance, there were girls that could put both their heads over and just like both both of their heads, both their heads, both of their legs. I can I wrap my head around like my head sometimes. Okay, um, why don't you show some of your dance moves from dance? No, you guys didn't twerk. Show us a different dance. Boyfriend's back and you're gonna get in trouble. Hey now, hey now, my boyfriend's back. I just want to let you know there's applause going right now. Yeah, yeah it's just thunderous applause. Like and then we'd have to walk off the stage like this. Dude, oh, did, wait, wait. Did you know that we could go to Hawaii um, and you could write it off your taxes and you actually make money by going to Hawaii? If you make it for content, you can write all of that off on taxes and then it would save you money because you'd have to pay for that anyway. Just so you know. Yeah. Oh, we're like, going. Yeah. No, you <laughs> can like, you can plan a trip like, uh, what, what you would call it? Like what Zach was saying to Hawaii, like that was just like, Hawaii? No, no, not just, just Hawaii. Anywhere. Just like, like in David's comeback vlog, oh, you like, know, the, like he flew all of his friends out to Hawaii and stuff, but because he made it for his vlog, Or, like, he filmed it, like, in his vlog and, like, put it up. And that's his source of income. Like, one of them. Um, He can write that off. That's what the twins did when we went to Universal. They vlogged there. So, like, they wrote it off on their taxes. Yeah. And because, like, so, like, the way it works is, like, you get, it basically takes the money off of, like, your taxable income. So, say you, like, you earn $100,000 and then you spend $10,000 on this trip. You write that off and then you only get tax on ninety thousand dollars for the year rather than a hundred thousand i mean like, no literally you're saving money like let's go on a trip guys i say mexico i say hawaii i'm thinking turks and caicos whoa we'll look it up why don't we all like find a place and then we'll do like a powerpoint presentation of like why we should pick this place Ooh. oh let's do it oh and we can present it on, on the, the podcast. podcast and then the, everybody can vote in the comments and where then, we like, should go that'd be yeah. really fun That's oh my god i'd love this and i'm gonna put I'll put mood boards together for all of our wardrobe for the trip. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, yeah. I just bought you more new clothes. We should make that video so I can write that off. Okay. Yeah, literally, you can. Yeah. I would love that. That's These are great all videos. I'm redoing That's Zach's wardrobe. Thing. I'm redoing Zach's wardrobe. I kind of so. liked what I was wearing today. But you'll love what I picked. So. Okay. Please. Wow, yeah. Okay, next week, I guess we'll be doing showing them our PowerPoint presentations. I'm excited to see where you two want to go. Well, yeah, I'm like if if you're like Turks and Caicos, I'd be like, yeah. So <laughs> any of them, I'd be like, I know we're both gonna do it, and then Jared's gonna be like, 
And this, this is, is why I want to go to West Virginia. This is Ohio. <laughs> this is Cincinnati. I want to take you guys to Cincinnati. So well, we don't want to go. We're not going to Cincinnati. I want to go to a beach. I want to drink pina coladas and get massaged by someone named Sven. All right, guys. Thank, Thank you, you guys, guys so, so much for joining, joining us this week on Dropouts. Sorry. If you stay to the end, make sure to send me. If Photoshop you stay to the end, photos of my maternity. Oh, yes, <laughs> oh, that and send me a um, one. like places we should go. What's your favorite vacation you've ever been on? Give me a little pitch. That way I know what to do for my PowerPoint. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Thank Indiana. You. Shut the hell up. Oh, I'm Zach. Thank you guys so much for joining us this yes. week on Dropouts. I'm Indiana. That's Zach Justice. Allegedly. That's your Bear music. Make sure to go follow us on Instagram at Dropouts Pod. And we'll see you guys next week for another episode of Dropouts. Bye. And if you want to see live childbirth, all you have to do is literally Google it. <laughs> Something Ew. I found out recently. I've, I've watched 46 videos. Viewer discretion, please. Not one don't of them I like. I could eat through. Uh, off the record, I used to watch those videos all the time. Yeah, because they're sexy.